Hello guys, welcome back to my introduction to Genie series. So this is the second video. It's been two days since I made the first video and I've been really held up. So I think two or three days, I think. But now let's get into it. So in the last video, we saw that we saw we just saw the basics of Genie. So right now we will be getting into installing Genie and then seeing what it can do and then in the next video maybe we will start doing other things so let's get into it so this is the link to the julie to the genie documentation and i'll be leaving it in the description so please check the description so that we can at least be doing the same thing so i'm using julia 1.53 so I hope you're using the same Julia or higher version so that everything can be working really well. So copy, this is how to install Genie. So just open Julia. I want to open 1.53. So if you want to install Julia, if you want to install a package in Julia, you just need to type this. Not the just that which is highlighted the square bracket facing the back that way and it will open for you the package manager then adding it you just type add genie and add it enter and then genie will start installing i already have genie and so i may not wait for it to finish but in your case this will start installing genie and several other packages that supports it and that genie uses or requires so you see it's like trying to update which i already have but for my case i just you see it already found out that i had the version so it just did leave it there so i'm back so if you want to clear you just hit backspace or backspace and it will take you back to genie now we will be using genie and again we'll be using genie root so this one is for managing routing in Genie, and this is the main thing that comes with the, all the packages like starting server and what what whatever you will need so you see now it's pre-compiling Genie because this is the first time i guess now it's the first time i'm running Genie. so it will it will compile and then after it compiles it will just check us the next step which I'll show you in, in this clip. I want to show you only one thing creating a basic server in Julia terminal over here into Julia terminal. And then in the next video, we will start getting into creating servers that are real projects and applications, web applications. So this is really taking time, and so I may find myself forwarding the video ahead. So it took nearly 30 or 40 seconds so that I that is the part that I cropped out almost a minute so if it takes some time then please be patient I'm using an i5 and a 12 GB RAM so I don't know why it has to be that to, de to take that long but maybe it finished because I realized that the moment I just hit enter and it proceeded so maybe again hitting enter after compiling could be maybe it's, it got stuck somewhere there so that is it so just if you imported this then let's see how to to make roots in julia so roots so roots in julia are just something like url you know this is a, a url this is url this is a url so creating this in this is always the domain part and then this is the root part so what we are in Julia or in any other web you'll ever be using, you won't be creating the domain, but you'll only be creating the roots over here. So that's what we want to do right now. Now, roots you define over there, and then the path. In this case, we want just to be home page, and then you just say do, and then hit enter. Then at least tab, you know, making things look nice. I hope you know identification is important. And then wherever you want to display, in this case, we could say welcome. 
region and then hit enter and then just do end i hope you know that you have to end every block in zulia wherever it's happening no method matching roots is it roots or root yeah, it's root not roots i'm sorry it's root single and then just boot the server to boot the server you type up and then hit enter so the server will start you see the server is running at this so copy that URL and just bring it over here so it may take again some time because Gini has to compile the <laughs> the code for the server again so that is basically what Gini does before the first run compilation must be done now you see welcome to Gini is over here because it has finished the process of compiling and starting the server now we get the home page what if you changed something over here just try making other routes changing the content over here and visiting those pages then you will see that wherever you put over here is what you will need to go over here you see here we did not add anything that's true it was just a slash which means home page in like, if you need to learn these things you need to know routings this means just home page so guys that is it for this video in the next video we'll see creating apps in engine so please 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 subscribe subscribe and if you like this video then smash that like button so goodbye let me see you in the next video